The Democrat Party say they are not happy with the details of this deal, but the same thing could be said on the Republican side, uh, as you heard from Congressman Ralph Norman, who we interviewed earlier this hour. Let's check in with Chad Pergram on Capitol Hill. He um, knows better than anybody what's going on, the undercurrents of the feelings of members of the House of Representatives. Well, Chad, you just heard what the president had to say. How does that square with what members of the House are saying? Well, it was important for the public and also Democrats to hear from the president here because they've heard from House Speaker Kevin McCarthy several times since they cut this deal last night. Uh, Kevin McCarthy spoke briefly last night. He spoke on Fox News Sunday today. He held another press conference today. And so Democrats, you know, need to get air cover from the president. Not every Democrat is going to be for this when they try to put this on the House floor. And I thought it was interesting toward the end of the president's remarks. You know, he was asked about, uh, you know, if he thought the, the speaker had negotiated in good faith. He said yes. And he said, I also believe he will have the votes. This is part of this, you know, parliamentary cocktail, as I've described it here today, that they have to get some Democrats and some Republicans. And again, what that mixture looks like is, is unclear. It can be easy to miscalculate when you're relying on the other side uh, to move this across the finish line. The other thing, John, that we're waiting for, and again, you know, the president and the speaker were supposed to talk early in the afternoon, about 2 o'clock, then we were told 3 o'clock. Now it's late afternoon here on Memorial Day weekend. They finally have spoken, and if I keep checking my phone, there's a reason for that. I'm looking to see if they have posted the bill text. Once they do that, that will put everything into motion over the next several days here on Capitol Hill or the House of Representatives to ostensibly vote on Wednesday. And then if they move it through the House to maybe get this weekend in the Senate, next weekend get it through the Senate. Chuck Schumer, the Democratic leader, indicated as much today. He said maybe Friday, maybe over the weekend. So the bill text is what all the members are looking for, and that will start this in motion. You just heard, uh, you might have heard, Representative Ralph Norman of South Carolina was not happy uh, that they haven't seen the bill yet, that the text is not available. And, and you also said if they move it through the House. There's no guarantee uh, that this deal, which has been agreed to by uh, Speaker McCarthy and a couple of his lieutenants, along with members, representatives of the President of the White House, there's no guarantee that, uh, that the House is going to uh, approve it. That's right. You know, this is, uh, you know, kind of the, 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 the longest mile, the hardest mile is at the end, moving it through the House and Senate. There are always these pitfalls uh, that they encounter when they try to advance a major piece of legislation like this. Uh, mark my words, there will be something that will come up between now and Wednesday night. Uh, that will reveal to us, you know, there, there's some coalition or some faction that has a problem with this. But uh, overall, you know, we were starting to get a little bit concerned here on Capitol Hill that they didn't have bill text. Maybe there was a problem. And I was told that people were just, you know, flexing their muscles. Those, uh, you know, like Ralph Norman and others, publicly and behind closed doors and on the telephone were saying, look, we don't like this bill. But some are going to, you know, you know, kind of air, air their grievances and then come back and say, all right, we're going to have to vote on this bill. I was told by one source earlier today, they said that, uh, you know, they've not made the case this way on the Republican side of the aisle, but a vote uh, against this bill is a vote against Kevin McCarthy. And this source said that's going to undercut Kevin McCarthy, and it's also going to res result in a default. So, you know, that's a pretty bad option here if you are a Republican. And, and, and this is where Kevin McCarthy, you know, has to exercise his muscle to demonstrate to his members, uh, you know, that he's in charge, he's running the House, uh, he defers a great deal to them. That's something that Kevin McCarthy has talked about extensively in his short speakership here, uh, that they can call the shots. But not everybody is going to get everything. And Kevin McCarthy has also done a little bit in the past uh, 24 hours or so to dampen expectations, saying, look, we only control the House. We don't have the Senate. We don't have the White House. You know, this is about as good a deal as we were going to get. The question is whether or not uh, members will actually back him up on that. Chances are they will. And, and this is where, you know, one school of thought is that you could have a rather robust vote in the House of Representatives for this bill. You know, somewhere north of 250, maybe even 270 votes. Uh, you know, this is a lot of spitballing going on in Capitol Hill right now. But again, you get that coalition of Democrats and Republicans together, but it's going to hinge on the text. And once we get the text, 
That's when that 72 hour clock starts. It's not three days, it's 72 hours from then. And so if we get this in the next few minutes, later tonight, they can vote on Wednesday night. Únete a la comunidad de noticias republicanas sin censura y mantente informado con la verdad detrás de las noticias en Estados Unidos. Te esperamos.